And look at this tent. Wow. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smoke. I how far back it went. Oh, yeah, too. I thought, yeah, it was really good to see that. And welcome thank you for watching I'm Wes this is Tom this is hippie Explorer we travel around New England looking for gold and today we're beginning a brand new trip um, he's got a groovy shirt look at that very scary looking we're all packed up um, hippies packed in there see we're full so he'll have to do his weather report a little later and uh, so we'll see you never know we're gonna could get rained on we don't know <laughs> all right let's go took a detour uh, we're in Bryant Pond Maine small little town next to the world's largest telephone it's second only to the world's largest ball of string uh, it's in the Guinness Book of World Records too this uh, big telephone you see behind me uh, was put here because Bryant Pond Maine back in 1983 was the very last town in the United States to use this type of phone that you'd crank. And it would, you'd crank it, it would ring the bell at the operator, and the operator would say, what number please? And then he, she'd plug you in to where you had to go. And back in 1983, this was the last town. That was, uh, I graduated high school in 84. Today's my birthday. So you can do the math. 50. Let's take a look at the telephone before we head to camp. I'll pick up the phone. <laughs> I'd call you, but I can't lift it. Look at that. Must have taken like 10 people to pick it up and make her call. We made it. We're here at the camp, and uh, it's kind of dark here. Uh, we better check with the hippie and see what the weather's gonna be. Hey, you groovy dudes and you slap happy hippies. This is hippie, and I'm here to give you the weather. Run it on. That don't look so good. You guys better get your tent up pretty quick. Looks like it's gonna get some rain, you might get wet. <laughs> hey, hey, happy birthday over here. Yeah, 50, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. All right, yeah, that big telephone, yeah, that was uh, exciting. I was on the edge of my seat, let me tell you. And uh, I wanna give a big shout out to little Joey, little Joey's Groovy B, and Gemma from Main Family Adventures, they're all groovy bees. All right, get that tent up. Doo Thank you, hippie. Now let's get this tent up.
Let me show you around. Couple cots. Nice table. We have a sitting area over here because we don't need the wood stove here. So we got a sitting area over there. Well, there you have it. We've spent over 60 nights a year in this tent for the past couple of years, over 100 nights. And it's still holding up for great. Do we need the outhouse dance? Maybe. What you got? We're all set up. Record-breaking time, we uh, probably took us about an hour. It usually takes us about an hour, but it was a little quicker because I had it prepared better this time. Every time gets a little better, a little better. So we're gonna go over to the Coos Canyon Rocket Gift Shop, say hello over there, grab some ice. And uh, so come along, let's go. Yeah, we got more, but just because we don't know when we're going to see her to bring actually bring in exactly what she wants. So there's light and dark. Okay.
Don't you miss us? Well, maybe not you. Good to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. We just left the store and we're here with Ron and where's Boo? Where's Boo? How you doing, Boo? He's doing good. We're hanging out here. We're gonna see if he can get his awning down. We're gonna watch yeah. him. We we couldn't do we stayed at that fifth wheel a few Sounds weeks like ago. Sounds like he's doubting my <laughs> abilities with his hands. I couldn't do it. That's this is similar to the one we couldn't figure out. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is. I unhook that and push it and it's it, can, it fights me. It's like hand to hand combat. You've <laughs> made it sound it's simple. Supposed to be easy as a little kid can do it. That didn't work. Remember, Ron, one, two, three, easy peasy. I know. Everybody tells me it's so easy and I couldn't figure it out. Well, by the geez, it worked before. <laughs> what did you do? I haven't seen you try anything. It's supposed to just come out. It doesn't seem to be moving. Oh, it ain't moving at all. I hope you, I hope you don't post this. I'll look pretty dumb. Just <laughs> <laughs> grab the. Oh, it doesn't want to. <laughs> it, boy, doesn't that feel locked up there? But you can see that yeah. something's locked. Oh, I almost put, got a hernia trying to pull it up. It ain't going up. Let me go. Let me get the step out. Get back up. The other man apparently up there. That's closed. It won't even go anymore. That's open. All right. Oh, there it goes. Keep clicking. No, no. Keep coming to you. Click, 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 click. click. Here we go. That takes a lot of pressure to get that going. Ah. Now we got to raise it up, right? Yeah. You want me to get one side, you get the other? Now it looks like you know what you're doing. Well, let me get ahead, get going ahead of you, though. Okay. It's gonna try to go. It's gonna try to go backwards. Perfect, right there. Right there. Notice the little slope. We got it. Pushing off on it. Yeah, I don't know why I had such a hard time over at the other place, but that was locked in at the top. Yep. I think I forgot to. I didn't no. unlock it. Boo, what do you think of that? We fought with it, but we got it going. <laughs> Took a little bit of effort. That's because Ron kept talking. <laughs> he goes to do something, and then there's a 15 minute story. I, actually, I had to take the lighter from him and light it myself. <laughs> but it's going. All on the same tree. <laughs> We're visiting with Ron and Toby and yes. Dave. They work here at the campground. You're like a caretaker here? Yeah, or? I do yeah. all the mechanical work. All right. Yeah, camp and host. They have a great tent. Yeah, We're going to go over and take a look at it. And they've been watching our video for... Since 312. Wow. <laughs> all of them. And we're going to take a look at their to... tent here in a little bit. We're here at... Dave and Toby's cabin here, or their, their tent. So you're, is this all wood? Yeah. Wow. Just in case you're here for the winter, right? Well, we'll be here to, through the end of November. And you got an outdoor, like, the, uh, table over there, or work table? Yeah, I'm restoring this uh, axe grinder to my friend. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, that's great. It was off in the weeds, just completely rusty and. Uh, huh. Oh, you use your fort and yeah. pump there. Yeah. Yeah. Just look on this. Roger Wilkinson's from the 1950s or the 1850s. Mm. 
grinder wheel. <laughs> That's cool. That's fantastic. And you have a little workbench over there. Yeah. Nice to have a little spot to do that too. Yeah, that's where we cook. Yeah, and you sure. Cook right there. <laughs> Great place. Yeah. And look at this tent. Wow. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smoke. I realized how far back it went. Yeah. 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 I didn't get the biggest one that they still had a porch for. So you have a you have like two sections, right? It's 16 by 20 is the tent, and then yeah. four more feet for the porch. Looks more like five or yeah, six man. with the oh. roof. <laughs> wow. And you have a wood stove? Oh, yeah, too. Yeah. And so, yeah, and what's going to make this so long to bring it up? Tell people oh, I live in a tent. And they yeah, I know. Hey, listen. They think we're, yeah, they think we're a bomb. Yeah. You got a machine <laughs> shop. I went to the VA the other day and I told my doctor, I was like, I live Now, in this tent's got a machine <laughs> shop here. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Now, <laughs> For working around because you do a lot of work I do here all the, work at the, camp all the maintenance here at the camp yeah. so <laughs> you tell people oh i live in a tent and they're thinking yeah, you're a bum <laughs> down by the <laughs> river <laughs> and they get here i went to the va the other day and i told my doctor i was like i live in now, a tent like i need more shop. help <laughs> <laughs> he was That's fantastic. he sent me a social worker <laughs> who was like okay so i heard that you might want to talk about um housing resources that we have available for you and i was like oh no 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 i live in a seven thousand dollar that's what I'm... <laughs> They're thinking a little pop up down by the right, river. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, a big bedroom. And look at this big stove. You got the TV. Wow. wow. Because we have to watch the Hit the Explorer. Yeah. <laughs> it premieres Wednesday night. <laughs> you get Wi Fi here? Sometimes. <laughs> well, you get it from over at the. Yeah. At night, we can get it. Now, this is a big stove, too. That's a nice big stove. Yeah, sometimes it's got plenty of heat. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Thanks for the tour. Sure. Yeah, this is great. You got your bed right. So, Toby and Dave, uh, they're staying here. This is your first year in the tent. Yeah, yes, this is the first year. First year in the tent, and uh, this, so... I'm going to keep tabs with them throughout the season because I want to know how it goes. And uh, it's a learning experience, I'm sure, right? Yes, it has been. And uh, this winter... We've got it pretty nailed down now. And yeah. after all that rain, it was it was a little tough. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Next year, we're going to build a platform. for. And, and this winter, you're well. planning on staying here in Byron? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Probably either, in a cabin or somewhere close. We're going to stay at one awesome. of the cabins or maybe up on the hill or we have friends and someone's yeah. going to let us stay the somewhere. Maintenance and we have here. Yeah. The maintenance here keeps you busy. You both do that or? Well, I don't do it if I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm well, thanks for talking with us oh, and uh, we'll check in with you uh, throughout the year. I'm sure we'll be back <laughs> yeah, and see how they're I'm doing. Sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got to say bye to Ron and Dave. We got to go back over and make dinner. And uh, their fire's gone. We probably have to light our own fire over there, too. So uh, we'll see you uh, back at the camp. We're back here at the camp. I'm wore out. I haven't eaten anything, so I'm having a camp crumpet. Some little energy. I'm going to get a fire going so we can get some real dinner pretty soon. If you're a Hippie Explorer fan, you may recognize this lighter. It says Explorer on it. And it's an electronic lighter. It was in an early episode way back before the Hippie and, it, and it's electronic, and I, and, hey. I hadn't used it in over a year. Pulled it out of the drawer, works fine. Didn't even have to charge it. I charged it now, but, oop. Let's see how well it works. That piece of paper is old. See if we can get it to like this paper. Yeah, look at that. I like it pretty good. I 
then with that, we're going to light this. Hopefully. The thing that's great about those lighters, too, is they close up and they're waterproof. This is Fatwoods. Right here. Oh, got a few twiggies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Jim McLean. Yo, good, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, good to meet you. Uh, and, I brought, yeah, I brought, and I got some river crumpets. Look at that. I have plenty of crumpets. Did you show my shirt? And and a shirt. He brought him a shirt. Now that's me. That's a groovy shirt. Yes. Thank you, Jim. Thank yes. you, Jim. Yes. And Cody. Hey, Baba. Thank you very much. Hey, you're very welcome. You want to be on YouTube? I don't care. Too late. <laughs> it's America. I'm in pubic. Well, well, that's great. Thank you very much for stopping in to say hello. Hey, thanks for having us. Here we are. We're sitting next to a smoky fire. It's billowing. Billowing. We uh, let it go down because we were sitting in front of a, uh, the fire and we heard someone say, Hippie! So we walked up that way, and uh, we got a visit from Jim McLean. McLean? McLean. McLean, I think it is. And uh, Cody, and they are viewers of us, and they wanted to stop, and they gave us some river crumpets. Not good for the diet, but neither was the Heath Bar, but it was delicious. Needed it. How about this? And the shirt. Thank you, Jim. Groovy. And uh, we also got uh, some other things from viewers that left stuff at Rosie's for us. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Well, we got this bag here. It says Hippies River Crumpet from Bill. Oh, Bill. We Must be the Bill. nomadic prospector. <laughs> Bill knows us. Oh, look at that. The good ones. How am I going to go on? How am I going to lose? continue losing weight? <laughs> Those are the frosted animal crackers. Bill. Bill. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Bill. We have other things. It's like a little uh, people leave stuff there for us because, you know, they know we're going to be there at some point. The post office. This is from Jesse at Blueberry Bandits. Blueberry Bandits. Jesse, Blueberry Bandits. This is local maple syrup. I think probably from the town that he lives in or lives near. It says Poverty Knob. Wood boiled. I got my own. Cherry Field, Maine. Dylan. Yeah, I love good maple syrup. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. Let's hey, there's see. more. There's more. Hippie from Guess Who. I think I know who. This is from uh, Carl Miller. He went up to Skookum Camp in Alaska. And I think he uh, brought us back some pay dirt from right from the hole where he was digging. So... We're going to see what's in it at some point. Not today. I don't know if we have time. That's what it is. That's what it is. Pedro from Alaska, from Kyle Miller. So if we get a rain day, that's what we're going to be doing on this trip and see what's in that. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. And thank you, everybody, awesome. for, the, for the gifts. Yes. All right. I'm hungry. We're going to get some uh, dinner going.
Voila! Have I told you about my Vin Chef skillet? It's the best skillet I've ever owned. Vin <laughs> you Chef. You look like you're gonna cry over it. Oh, no, it's the, <laughs> it's the oh, oh, I love, oh, my skillet. But it is good. It used to tell you how hot it was, but the temperature used to change color, but not so much anymore. But nothing sticks to it. You can use it on a campfire. You can use it in your kitchen. I use it everywhere. Okay. Let's start off with a good heaping pepper. Like that. And we're going to get them going. See this nicely diced chicken? Nicely diced. I'll put that in there. Put that. I'll let that go. Here we are. You see the nice peppers and the chicken all cooking in there? I'm going to add a quarter cup of water to that. And then. Taco seasoning. We're making chicken tacos for my birthday. Yeah, yeah, we all know it's your birthday. Here we are. We're trying to beat the darkness. Look at that. Ooh. This is how we're gonna do it. I know we've had criticism about the tacos before. People like their tacos all different ways. This is camp style tacos. Yeah, That's the way we like them. These are chicken tacos with some peppers in there. Look at that cheese right on there like that whammy. What's he got? Oh, some sour cream. You gotta fluff it up. A dollop. A dollop. Daisy. I don't know if that's the right song, but it's a dollop. Oh, and some salsa. Look at that. So that's what he's doing right there. And uh, I'm gonna do something uh, very similar and uh, we'll tell you how it is. Here we are. Let me wrap it up. It smells really good. Uh, this is more like a burrito than a taco. Mm. It's real simple, but it's been a long day traveling up here and stuff, so simple is good. Hmm. Thumbs up. Very good. We're going to eat this, and we'll be back. we got a story tonight. It's a good one. Here we are. The tacos, burritos that we had were delicious. And uh, the story, here's the story. Toby and Dave that uh, we met earlier, they're from Oklahoma. And they were watching Dan Hurd. This is what they told us. And after it was over, one of our videos was suggested. And that's how they first our first saw our video and then they started watching our videos and this was back when we only had 300 subscribers so way back at the beginning they started looking up Coos Canyon uh, because they saw our video and they looked up the Coos Canyon campground 
And when they did, they saw that there was a job open there for someone to uh, be a maintenance and work there. And uh, they were in Oklahoma, and they said, uh, I guess they applied for the job, and they took it. And they moved from Oklahoma wow. to that camper. And they bought that camper. And they're living it. Now that's, that's... That's living. That's living. That's going all out. That's like taking the whole thing and moving into a tent. And uh, they've got a homey hey. there. He's got a workshop and he works there. And he lives there. And uh, they're they're enjoying it. They've had a lot of rain up here, so they've had their challenges. And we're probably going to be seeing them uh, maybe later on this year, and we'll check in with them and see how they're doing. But uh, that's an interesting story, and uh, it was great meeting them, and uh, we thanked them for letting us take a tour around their tent. Um, and we'll check in with them again sometime, and we'll, 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 we'll later on in the year. And see how they're doing and if, uh, what changes they've made. It's all a learning experience. They just bought the tent and they were living in a house in Oklahoma. And they decided to live in a tent in Maine. Down by the river, like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we thank you for watching and coming out and uh, following us along. We've got a lot of uh, stuff to do on this. Uh, trip. Make sure you check out hippie.com. We uh, forgot to put honey in the tacos. Hippie's really upset. I'm going to have it in my coffee. But we're going to have it in our coffee. Check out hippie.com. Get yourself some delicious honey. Till next week. Peace. Peace.